Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Delaware State University to acquire 10 Vulcan Air airplanes. GA Airport in Maryland files for bankruptcy. And NASA retires Kepler Space Telescope. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's November 5th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Delaware State University and Ameravia Incorporated have announced the acquisition with a firm order of 10 new Vulcan Air V1.0 aircraft for the DSU Aviation Department flight training program with deliveries in late 2018 and the first half of 2019. DSU has chosen to invest $3.5 million in the aviation program. Beginning in 2019 through 2027, the university intends to purchase at least one additional V1.0 training aircraft each year to accommodate expansion of the aviation program. DSU has a very interesting history, both as a university and a flight training program. In 1939, the United States government funded and introduced the Civilian Pilot Training Act, or CPTA. The CPTP's purpose was to train approximately 20,000 pilots each year to prepare for the believed impending global conflict. In an effort to recruit as many potential pilots as possible, the program accepted African Americans and women. The CPTP gave African Americans and women unprecedented opportunities in aviation. Pioneering Black Flyers campaigned hard for public awareness of their abilities, and their efforts paid off with an anti-discrimination rule within the CPTP. DSU is one of the six historically black colleges chosen for this program. After the break, Palvi to debut as commercial flying car in the Middle East. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. After the successful introduction of the Palvis production model earlier this year at the Geneva International Motor Show, Kuwait will have the honor to be the first to have their entirely dedicated Palvi premiere. On November 12th, Palvi will have an opening ceremony at the Dutch Embassy in Kuwait, where it will be shown to the GCC VIPs, the general public, and the press. The remotely piloted X-56A subscaled aircraft has demonstrated with a classic flight controller in flight that flutter can be suppressed at 110 knots or about 127 miles per hour in the lower weight configuration. The flight September 15th at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in California was intended to validate and improve aerodynamic computer models as well as determine aircraft characteristics at the higher airspeed, said Ching Mu. X-56A Project Manager. The 920th Rescue Wing along with the DoD Human Space Flight Support Office, NASA and SpaceX personnel join forces to plan and execute a realistic medical evacuation exercise at Kennedy Space Center in Florida October 25th. Their mission was to respond to a simulated emergency incident that required DoD support and expertise. The DoD HSFS office 
planned and coordinated 920th RQW assets, which included two HH-60G helicopters from the 301st Rescue Squadron, four pararescue men from the 308th RQS, and two flight surgeons from the DoD HSFS office. The name John Chapman is already well known in the Air Force community and will now fly across the globe on the side of an iconic aircraft. The Air Force dedicated a Boeing C-32 to Master Sergeant John Chapman during a ceremony at Herbert Field, Florida, October 26. Chapman was a Special Tactics Combat Controller who was posthumously presented the Medal of Honor in August. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The company that operates Maryland Airport east of Indian Head, Maryland, has filed for bankruptcy protection as Charles County plans to rezone parcels adjacent to the field. Balserman Service Incorporated said they had filed for voluntary Chapter 11 protection in federal bankruptcy court saying the move is to strengthen its capital structure and protect the valuable transportation and economic asset known as the Maryland Airport. A number of entities continue to express their willingness to invest in and or purchase the Maryland Airport. Uncertainty over the zoning and regulatory environment has created difficult circumstances in which to secure new capital or complete a sale. Bozerman Service is continuing to work with the appropriate authorities to resolve these issues in a manner that best serves the airport in Charles County. The release says operations are expected to proceed as normal while the bankruptcy works its way through the courts. The county has been trying to sell the airport since last May. The county's planning department is working on an overlay zone for a nearby 50-acre parcel that had been dated over to the county in 2005 for development of a science and technology park. The Maryland Aviation Administration and the FAA are interested in the continued economic viability of the airport, which is a designated reliever for the National Capital Region. After these messages, NASA retires Kepler Space Telescope. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. After nine years in deep space collecting data that indicate our sky to be filled with billions of hidden planets, more planets even than stars, NASA's Kepler Space Telescope has run out of fuel needed for further science operations. NASA has decided to retire the spacecraft within its current safe orbit away from Earth. Kepler leaves a legacy of more than 2,600 planet discoveries from outside our solar system. Launched on March 6, 2009, the Kepler Space Telescope combined cutting-edge techniques in measuring stellar brightness with the largest digital camera outfitted for outer space observations at the time. Originally positioned to stare continuously at 150,000 stars and one star-studded patch of the sky in the constellation Cygnus, Kepler took the first survey of planets in our galaxy and became the agency's first mission to detect Earth-sized planets and the habitable zones of their stars. Four years into the mission, after the primary mission objectives had been met, mechanical failures temporarily halted observations. The mission team was able to devise a fix, switching the spacecraft's field of view roughly every three months. This enabled an extended mission for the spacecraft dubbed K-2, which lasted as long as the first mission and bumped Kepler's count of survey stars up to more than 500,000. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday 
alternating with airborne unmanned on Tuesday, and the AMA drone report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.